Hey everybody, it's KP. I'm here with a friend who is like off camera, so I'm not going to show her because I don't have her permission. <laughs> but we are here at da, 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 Montmartre Cemetery. Remember I was trying to get here the other day and couldn't find it. Well, we got it. So we're going to walk through it together and see what happens. Hit you back in a second. Wow, are these like actual? Yeah. All right, so here we are at the entrance. You can see multiple layers. What in the world? This is crazy. It is. You got some rules over here, all in French. There's a big bell. This is the uh, bridge I was walking across last time where I was looking down at the cemetery but couldn't figure out how to get here. Uh, it's the bathroom if you need it. Oh, <laughs> That's the one thing I love about French cemeteries. There's always a bathroom and it's always free. <laughs> okay, later I will research these things and see what's what. Y'all know what I do now. And there's a map. All right, so let's just walk. Which way you want to go, Z? I've never been here before. This is super interesting. It is so unique. Look at that, y'all. It goes up to the bridge. <laughs> like, <Wow. laughs> I have never seen anything oh, like this before. Can you see the inside? Not in this one, but in some of them you can. You want to go through? Wow. I'm too fat. <laughs> <laughs> this is so crazy. Whoa, look at the cobwebs. It's so old. <clears throat> Here's one you can see inside. Where's the actual ash? So, I don't know, uh, maybe they have the plaque there and there. There may be some cremains somewhere in here, but I don't know where they put them. I've seen many like this, and I don't know, like in France. Is this like actual do. like people, the offsprings to go inside to pray? Yeah, so the descendants can come and visit. Yeah, but this one doesn't look like it's been used. I mean, look at all the <laughs> cobwebs up there. Let's head back around. like a maze. Yeah, it's to protect the stained glass. And when the light shines through, well there you won't get much light shining through here though because it's under this bridge. But y'all can look and see the damage on this one. Look at the cracks at the top. And on the side, that's actually dangerous, that needs to be fixed. Um, that could fall and hurt someone. So remember in my last video I talked about uh, things that we need to give our attention to at cemeteries. And that is one of those things is stabilizing these uh, dangerous headstones and monuments that are aren't broken and could possibly hurt people. It's like a little city. Oh, here's your flowers. No arrangement or anything. <clears throat> you see the light shining through? Oh, cool. Check that out. I want to get up there. I think there's steps. All right, y'all, hold on one second. I'm going to switch over to my handheld and then maybe this 
picture will be a little smoother. Give me a second. Okay, I'm back. I don't know, having some issues with the uh, the camera and the tripod thing. I don't know what that little thing is that keeps appearing in the bottom of the screen, but I don't know. I might just have to edit that part of the video out. We'll see. It's just the side of it, so. I don't want y'all having like peekaboo moments in here. <laughs> I think it's because you're on wide angle and you can see. I think so. Yeah, I tried moving it though. It shouldn't. No, this is this, this like, part. It's this I part. know, but like you can only see it sometimes, right? Yeah. See that? It's weird. It's very strange. <laughs> You're probably right though. Let's see. Because I was like, I wasn't seeing it the whole time. So I keep it on the normal angle then. And we have the uh, walking bridge up above, the pedestrian bridge. So people could literally look down at the cemetery if they wanted to. I wonder if they even know there's a cemetery down here. They're just like walking by, missing all of the amazing art of Paris. <laughs> well, look at that. We made it through the cemetery. We didn't see one statue of a guy holding his head in his hands. <laughs> I've had enough of this statue for today. What is this thing? It's elevated. Hmm. Yeah, there's a whole nother level up there, sort of along the residential yeah, homes. More donuts. <laughs> more donuts, yeah. I don't know what those things are. Is that an elephant? No, it's some kind of thing with more donuts on it back there too. This gray thing with like the green rust running down it. You can see some of these like almost touch the top. Such an interesting yeah. uh, compromise, layout. I guess. Yes. Yeah, the layout is interesting. very unusual. Yeah. I'm used to cemeteries being like wide open. This almost makes it feel like it's inside of a museum or something, you know? Yeah, the, the ground, the entrance. Yeah. Commander of the Legion of Honor. Hmm. Alright y'all, we're back. Got this set up. We'll see what happens. But, um... So I just came around the corner. Check out this thing over here. <clears throat> Look at that. I swear it looks like something out of like a storybook. It does not even look real. Oh, there's stained glass inside. What? Check that out. I thought that was stained glass, it's not. Z, come check this out, it's cool. Look inside. Wow. Up and down, I didn't even look up, I just noticed the up part. 
I wish I could get like up in there with the camera. I don't want to stick it in there though. It was so cool. There's some wild growing stuff happening over here. Just like all the cemeteries I've been to, you can hear the noise pollution from traffic and people. All right, let's see. I was trying to get up here. Do you see steps to get up here? Yeah, here. Because we haven't walked up enough steps today visiting Montmartre, <laughs> we're going to walk up more. Be careful, this is not sturdy. This is cool because we can look down. Mm. It's the angle I usually can't do in my videos. Do Europeans like to uh, burn? Like cremate? The cremate? Or they just bury them? What do you mean by Europeans? Like the culture, Parisians? <laughs> culture. I mean, in Paris, I've seen a lot of um, columbariums, like where they put the ashes of people who have been cremated. So I think it's a common thing. But can you tell by the... Idea? Well, these are just going to be burials. Um, yeah, because they're huge. Well, that. Um, usually the ashes are put in different locations but they could like set an urn into one of these if they wanted to we wouldn't know you know only the family would know because you wouldn't see it but some of them they it depends on the cemetery but some of them set them right out I just want to show y'all where we're walking like this ground <laughs> there's like this part and this part. So you have to have one leg shorter than the other <laughs> to walk evenly. Oh, this is cool. Look, we get up close and personal looks here at the top, which is something we never get. We get the uh, hourglass with the wings. That is a common symbol at the cemeteries here. The Tempest Fugit, time flies. Look at that, the gate. Yeah, this is something we don't have a lot of in the United States, right? Is the place at the bottom to put yes. flowers. I think it's such a good idea. I think so too. I talked about that in my last it's video. So yeah, it's easy to care for. And really, it's the family's responsibility to like clean it. <laughs> More like this. Yeah, put fake flowers. Check out that. It's like hands. Hmm. Some odd stuff happening here. Okay, we have some damage. I don't know what this is. What's happening here? Maybe s storm wind. It should be like this. Yeah. yeah right. But these are so heavy, like some of these are marble. The wind shouldn't knock them over. The glass maybe, but not the marble. Mm. Oh, kick the rock. <laughs> it's also fun to practice your French out here, Z. Oh look, it's a giant escargot. Oh. <laughs> Did, you Did you get scared? It's dead. It looks like a bee is trying to eat it. Wow. That's huge. It's a cemetery for all lively. Uh, yeah, cemetery for the poor snails. I love the bugs they have out here. Just a little curtain for that one. Yeah, it's kind of creepy, isn't it? <laughs> so y'all, I'm trying out this new thing. I actually have my camera on the tripod. Um, oh, snap. <laughs> wow. I'm glad it was already dead. <laughs> I just stepped on the snail, y'all. That was such an accident. Oh my gosh. I feel so bad, but it was already dead. Um, 
but yeah let me know in the comments if this is smoother better to watch or whatever I see some damage here on the letters good grief it almost looks like play-doh Play yeah what causes that kind of damage is that just from water I think. oh my goodness I don't know Mm -hmm. It's quite cool. <laughs> this one's on top of the ground. Oh, is it then too close? Yeah, from what I've seen, people are like buried in the ground under these. And they have multiple family members in one. Look at this one. This one doesn't look like it. it kind of looks like an Egyptian thing, doesn't it? Yes, like a sarcophagus. Definitely. The crows, how ominous. <laughs> They're everywhere. I just want to have y'all take a look at this little mini obelisk thing. The ivy growing on it is pretty cool. I feel like ivy is a form of art. <laughs> Getting your ivy to grow correctly. Mm -hmm. Like bonsai. Yeah, exactly like bonsai. And notice here, just like in the other cemeteries I've visited, how close together these um, burials are. It allows for very limited grass to grow, so you get less damage to the burials, less work for groundskeepers and maintenance people, and it just looks nicer. Pathways are nice and cool. a cactus <laughs> the finger. It's it is finger. it does look like the middle finger you think that's what it really is so. <laughs> oh, it says, I have to see this might be like a famous person or something what does it say on top it's like in cursive I cannot read French like in normal lettering yes. <laughs> to mention cursive Me too. Oh my gosh. Let's continue. This place is huge. I don't even know how to get out. Oh, this is very unique. Look at that. This is definitely something you don't see every day in America. How cool is that? I wonder how long that lasts and what material that's made out of. Kind of looks like ceramic tile. Yes, I think so too. And this know, one? Crunchy there is the smoke. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to try to crunch another snail shell. Oh, look, there's some blue lettering. Last time we talked about the lettering colors and how they're different here. Yeah, um, is there like a meaning? I don't know. That's what I can't figure out. I don't know if it's just like family choice or what. Mm -hmm. Is that Jewish? In the Hebrew writing? I think that's Hebrew. Mm. This is a huge burial Mickey. spot. And they left the stones on it. So cool. This is unusual. The integration of the bronze with the stone. how peaceful it is here like sometimes after class when I feel like I've been super like bad at French and I'm really demoralized I come to a cemetery and just walk 
so that I can like <laughs> feel better. Like at least I'm not dead. <laughs> That's bad, but you're pretty cornered in you from down there. Yeah, they're like Jaya, Jaya, Jaya. You can do it. This is weird, kind of like Egyptian looking, like futuristic <laughs> Egyptian. I don't know what's happening. It's on the side too. I noticed when we were walking up. It's so unique. Oh, wow. Check this out. See that at the back? That very, very tall up wow. near the top of the trees? We have to go. Yeah, we're definitely going to go. This is the second one I've seen like that. The last cemetery had something really? giant. It was like a giant, looked like a treasure chest with huge gems, like actual gems inside of it. And it had a giant woman who was laying over it, like crying. It's so cool. Wow. That's why I love these cemeteries. You can always visit and find like such cool stuff. Mm. What is that? I found a well in one. That looks like it. Yeah, I thought that was a well, but it's not. I don't know what that is. It's like a bell or something that fell down. What do you think is happening here? Maybe they go together? Yeah. <laughs> oh. I can't tell. So romantic. Hamburger is their last name. <laughs> yeah, they're both hamburgers. Has hamburger burger. <laughs> I bet that's a name, y'all. In English, that's funny. I know, but like, it's not because they're real people. But it is kind of funny. And we talk about the damage to cemeteries, and I'm looking at this guy and the cracks here. It was pretty epic. And this is like a good four feet off the ground. So that's another thing you would want to stabilize. This thing probably weighs 500 pounds, maybe more, like just that top part. If that fell on somebody, it would break their foot or kill them. So we would definitely want to fix stuff like that. Looks like something was burned. Now I can see we're getting closer to that epic monument in the back. Wow. Look at that. It's very modern. Hmm. The marble and the blue. So what flag cool. is that? I don't know what flag that is. If y'all know, hit me up in the comments. Let me know. <laughs> Maybe some kind of military something. Can your uh, do you have the Google lens? You could search it with the Google lens. Look over here for a minute. There's still there's like burials everywhere. Oh, check that out. That is something I have never seen. It's so beautiful. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, we find us some jewels today. I knew this cemetery would be special. What? What is happening? <laughs> it's like all glass or plastic. There's a lemon inside. <laughs> This is so cool. Yesterday I went to the museum de Orsay. Yeah. And there's a lemon penne. Really just one lemon. Just one lemon? <laughs> what style of art was that? Oyo. Oh. Classic. This is so cool. Very unique.
Again, this is something I've mentioned in past videos about how in like the Parisian cemeteries you have people of different faith backgrounds buried together. Um, we've already seen like Jewish, Christian, we've pe seen people who are Christian who have like Egyptian style uh, mausoleums and things. So there's a lot going on here. It's really, really cool. There's your gothic style Z so you can be a vampire. <laughs> Giant man. These crows. What is this about? Reminds me of the thinking man, except he's looking down. I did not see like the name of the person anywhere, so I don't know. I wonder if that's the actual person who's buried here. You think so? Maybe. Could be. It would not surprise me. Like you got this guy behind him looking sternly at us. At like, the butt. Yeah, he's like, how dare you record in my cemetery. Alright, let's keep on. I think we have to get on the other side of the road to see these giant things. There you go, look at that. Wow. It's like a monument. Duke de Montmorency? Wow, 1829, that's really old. Yeah. And it goes way up into the trees. There's actually a cross on the top that you can barely see through the top of the trees up there. <laughs> All right, and let's check out this big guy. The one that caught our eye from like the other side of the cemetery. Oh look, there's another hourglass with wings. More of that cemetery symbolism, right? Right there. Can't get it. There we go. Trying to get the lighting just right. My camera does not like this overcast day. You got a good picture? It's hard. <laughs> this is so big. And the garbage. Yeah, but at least it's out here. The Pooh Bell. Check out the side of this vault, y'all. Yeah. Oh, you can see the stained glass shining inside of that one. Lejeune. That's a famous name. Yeah, I can't think of... But there's a lot of things here in Paris named after Lejeune. What? The black cat. Look, we got crows, we got black cats. It's not looking good for us. <laughs> <laughs> it's very ominous. Wow, these are just beautiful. Mm. Hey, it's wide open. Mm. <laughs> Yeah, this one's falling over. Poor guy. Wow, what happened to it? Look at that. Mm. Alright, y'all experts out there. As I told y'all, I'm a student. I'm learning. I'm trying to figure this out. I've never, you know, studied Parisian cemeteries before. Anyone out there who knows what makes those kind of markings on a headstone, let me know. It looks like some kind of, like, tool. Like a rounded tool. I don't wow. know. It broke off from that big old thing there. I mean, the ground is clearly uneven. There's some settling or something that happened down here. Um, I don't know what uprooted a thing like that, but... Oh my gosh. At least it didn't fall and hit anything else. Got biological growth on the opposing side. Ooh, 
Ooh, there's no names. I wonder if they use some kind of tool to rub off the information about who is buried here. Because there's no names on either side of the stone. Maybe that's where the information was and they just kind of grinded it off and just left it instead of removing it from the cemetery. Oh, this is something y'all don't see every day. Look at that. Is that all bronze? What in the world? So cool. I've definitely never seen this in any of the American cemeteries I've been to. I mean, keep in mind, I have not visited every cemetery that exists in the U.S., but that stands out as unique to me. There's so much to see here. I bet I could visit this five or six times and still not see everything. <laughs> These crows. <laughs> All right, let's head down this giant pathway. Just like the other cemeteries we've been to, this one has road signs marking your way. What? I can't see it. You want to go look at it? All right, there's people over here, y'all. So you know my thing. I do not point at people. So. Sorry if you have to look at the ground or something. <laughs> mm. I love the marble. It's so cool. There's even a window for ventilation. Yeah, of course. <laughs> You know, some of these might have been buried before embalming was a thing. I don't even know if they practiced embalming. embalming. When you take out all the body fluids when someone dies. Because oh, if you so don't if you don't take the fluids out, the body like swells and releases gases right. into the air. So they embalm the body to keep that from happening. Like, um, a, like a mummy. Not exactly, but it's kind of that idea. Like you, you do some things to the body to make it last make it last <laughs> and I was just showing y'all here some of the damage I haven't seen as much here as we saw at the last cemetery there's still a lot but this is a much larger cemetery than Mont Rouge oh wow cool I'm gonna there's more of our Egyptian imagery I remember we spoke before about how many people can be buried in one plot here in France and look at all the names up there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten names. You'd never see that in the United States. The oldest one, 1839. It's a family. Yep. So in France, they do like family plots, and over time, as people die, they just open it up and put you in there. Like body over body? Or mm -hmm. Yeah, because it could be jars, it could be bodies. They do either way, from my understanding. Um, there's no, not much space. It's a condo. <laughs> it's a condo. <laughs> well, like what happens to your body over time when you're dead? Sorry, y'all, it's a little graphic. I apologize. But, I mean, it's facts of death, right? Yeah, but like, if you put it into, like, a tomb, mm -hmm. the tomb doesn't deteriorate. It does. It does? It does. It's it does. Really they will tell you it doesn't, and they'll be like, pay $10,000, and you'll get yeah. this casket that lasts forever, and they don't. Everything. Really? Everything comes to dust. Everything. Yeah. Now, how long it takes to get there is something else. Yes. You can see, like, some of these are 10 years apart, some are 20 years apart, some are 30. Mm. 
But over time, our practices for preserving the body makes the body last longer after death. Um, but yeah, if you opened it up, it's probably just like in the catacombs, a bunch of bones and dust and even the um, coffin itself, if they're in a coffin, is dust. So you could just put more and more. Interesting. Yeah, it's a good way to save space. So you don't need 500 cemeteries in one city. <laughs> what happened to his big toe, y'all? Alexander Dumas, isn't he a writer and author? Pretty sure I've read some of his books. Famous guy, absolutely. And there's something like a, can you read that, see? <laughs> Practice your French. <laughs> Je mets à la 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 dans ma vie et dans ma mort que me interest spion plus que ma vie grâce si ne fait partie. Ok. Que du temps. Okay, now you're going to translate it? <laughs> uh, this is uh, eternity. <laughs> yeah, let me know in the Something comments. about, I know right, tell me in the comments. <laughs> Something about in my life and in my death has been, I don't know, interesting, good, I don't know. Y'all see, I told y'all I was bad at French. It's awful. It's really awful. Yeah, Alexander Dumas. You got it. I've read some of his books. I know I have. Wow. <laughs> Here we go. This guy was a doctor. Beauregard. It's very cool to get I didn't even know he was buried here. See, that's what happens when I just show up to a place without researching it first. But somehow we always seem to happen upon the famous people anyway. But this one is all because of Z. She was like, hey, something cool is down there. So thank you, Z. Everybody tell Z thank you in the comments. <laughs> This is something I haven't seen before. I have no idea, none, zero idea what this is. And there's like a book written on it. Look at that. I can barely read it, it's so much happening. From 1854. A mon mari. Okay, here's something we can talk about. I don't know what happened here, um, but you can see down there is where the body would actually go. Uh, clearly, there's no body there now, or if it is, it's like buried under all those leaves and things. Um, you can actually see a lot of the metal works inside. Uh, actually, there's a vault area right there that's cracked. So there could be somebody still in there. Um, it's fascinating. I mean, it's terrible to see stuff like this. And this is on par, actually, with what I see in a lot of the minority cemeteries in the United States. Um, I mean, not on this grand scale, because this thing is massive. But the same concept is that, you know, the top stone is broken revealing the vault underneath the vault underneath is cracked there's structural damage and the remains inside are now at major risk from weather and things like that so it happens everywhere y'all what does that say a notre ancien sacre de génie. What does it mean? 
<laughs> Look, you can't say that for all of them. <laughs> Is it? That's cool. Famille Biedermann. It kind of looks like a house, doesn't It's got a lock on it. You can't go in. No entry. <laughs> I always say these things are like cities. Oh, wow, it goes very deep. You know, I can't see in there. Yeah, it just looks like darkness in the camera. But, yeah, that goes very deep. Wow. So cool. Yeah. I would love to, like, crawl around. It's what? Nice marble. Marble? You can look down at the place below. Oh, it's giving me like vertigo right now. Here, I'll zoom this out so y'all can see what I'm seeing. <laughs> it really is like little spirit houses. He is talking to a guy that's back there like rolling some cigarettes. He said he lives here. It's interesting. Z is actually a classmate of mine. Uh, we were partners when class first started and then over time we got switched to other partners. But um, she's from China, like born and raised in China for a little bit and then moved to New York um, when she was like 13. So she speaks Chinese and English and is learning French. And I also speak Chinese and English and I'm learning French. So we connected. And when she learned that I visit cemeteries, she was like, oh my gosh, I want to go. So I hung out with her today. She did a tour of Montmartre, which I have already done twice now. Um, but it's good exercise. So I got my steps in. I got like 14,000 steps. And then um, afterwards, we came here. So... And I have to say, I'm so glad to be here. Y'all can see just from looking at past videos that this cemetery is like one of the most awesome ones I've been to here. It's definitely very large. I don't know if I, Père Lachaise is probably larger. I mean, she's beautiful, right? But um, yeah, this, this cemetery is definitely large. She's a work of art. And the sun's coming out, y'all. I'm sorry for the glare in the camera. I do not have protection today from a camera from the sun. Going through the little path. where I walk so I don't crush any more poor snails. <laughs> I just talked to the guy over there. Yeah. He said uh, uh, since the pandemic he doesn't really go party out a lot but he smokes weed over here. Okay. And he see the, the, the crow and the animals here dancing. Dancing? He, he encountered like a concrete witch one time what? after he was high. <laughs> okay after he was high. Yeah. That explains it. What, what does a concrete witch look like, though? I don't know. <laughs> I'm very curious. Look at this. The ivy has taken over. First time I've seen a headstone completely covered by any type of biological growth here. You cannot even read the words underneath. We have another broken...
So, right, I originally came here with the theory that the French take better care of their cemeteries than we do of ours. Um, I have to say, in some ways, that's been proven true. But in other ways, I have a lot of question marks about what they're doing out here. Um, it would actually help to have a French expert walk along and explain some things. Because there could be things happening that I am just clueless about, you know. And this appears to be a much older area of the cemetery, so it could be that ugh, things just aren't being cared for. That's not good at all. Or maybe it's harder to care for these older areas. I don't know. Seeing a lot of subsidence in the ground up here, and this is a raised up part. The cemetery is like four levels. I mean, it is Montmartre, like we're on a big hill, but that's still a whole lot of cemetery. Okay, what is this? Let me turn you around slowly so I don't like give you whiplash and break your necks. Are these reeds? What? Is, what? Donuts. Donuts. <laughs> I don't really know what these are. I see them a lot. I think they're supposed to be reeds, but oh, you can read that. Yep. What does it say? Like translate it. I know you can do it. Donuts are called a jama, a demur. I don't know what demur is. Me either, actually. It's like in our hearts, we never. It's going to be like, forget you or something. <laughs> Residence. Hmm? What does it mean? That's not right. I know there's some French speakers out there. Y'all tell me what that means. The last word, demur. Demur. Our teacher's been trying to get us to pronounce things correctly. Sometimes we get it, sometimes we don't. Just pointing out areas of damage. Whenever I stop and kind of point the camera at something, I'm just seeing interesting things that you can take note of or it's not. Hard. Forever at home. Forever a home. Oh, that's sweet. What happened here? Gosh. This is 2015. That's not that long ago. Um, how do we get back towards the entrance? We took some... You want to stay on the main road? Are you afraid? <laughs> I don't, know, something like, oh, don't want to get lost. <laughs> hey, look. Ooh, check out this sculpture. That's cool. It's like mother and child. Oh, I think we're just walking through someone's burial spot. Or maybe it was. Let me zoom in so you can see that. What a beautiful piece of art. I told y'all last time, you will never ever see art anywhere like you see in a cemetery. Just amazing stuff. What is this? A big black tunnel ahead. <laughs> That's where we came from, eh? Is it? No, I don't think so. Because we came in and walked up steps, so we didn't walk around the whole cemetery. Maybe. So what do you think? It's your first visit to a French cemetery. Very eye-opening. <laughs> Very eye-opening and uh, impressive. 
Yeah, it's very cool. I think I'm gonna visit more. You should. Mm. Oh, look at that lady over there. I think there's a lady. Mm. Yeah, I definitely didn't see the ones up there. I might come back and visit this another day to like do a more thorough walkthrough. It's just so big and so much to see. I knew you would like it because most people, when you talk about cemeteries, they're like, oh, no. But you were interested and like, okay. Yeah, I, mean, I don't have to do things. anything. You just have to come out and see, experience it. You'll like it. Yeah. No, we definitely did not come in that way. Yeah. It's a big giant man that. back there. We can get all these things. Okay, cool. Sorry y'all, didn't mean to get that man in the background. I might go home, do some research, come back out. I know there's more famous people here than Alexander Dumas, so we'll see who else is out here. Mammy and Pappy. <laughs> yeah, actually, I don't know. You see that epic wall, but that's actually part of the road system. I'm curious about the French process for building the road system because I'm pretty sure the cemetery was here first and the road came later. If this was America, they would have just built that thing right through the cemetery. So I'm wondering if they do the same thing here in France or if they take more care of their burials. Um, I wonder why is it only the, the most recent one with the, the, Jewish, the star. Jewish star? I'm not sure. Maybe Is the others history? weren't Jewish. I don't know. I said maybe the others weren't Jewish. Maybe I was thinking just maybe him. of the historical um, issues. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, they're all born pretty close together. Mm. He's got a different last name from the other two. Banko. Banko ba. There's probably something historical going on with the, the last names. I don't know. Yeah. And they're all doctor. Are they? Doctor, doctor. But hers doesn't have doctor. No, probably not. <laughs> she could be a doctor. I noticed with a lot of the Jewish ones, though, they leave these stones on the cemetery or on the, uh, the tables, tablets, mm. whatever these are called. I forget. quite interesting. I actually don't know where that road goes. I'll have to check it out. Look at that, y'all. The Grand Maison, right? Not the Maison Grand. <laughs> I try to, like, practice my French in these videos. Everybody knows that I'm studying French out here. But, um, <laughs> it's awful. I <laughs> like torturing people. <laughs> Yeah, there's like a whole level we didn't visit. But I need to get home and study French. Because walking through cemeteries is all fine and good. But we got a test coming up soon. <laughs> yep. Is it tomorrow? No, not tomorrow. Tomorrow's Thursday. Tomorrow is Thursday. Yeah. Oh my gosh, this week's going by so fast. Cambodia vibe. Cambodia vibe? Yeah. You know the famous uh, the famous statue. I don't know what's going on with this thing. Give me a second. I'm gonna stop the video for a second, y'all.
All right, y'all, you made it to the end of our little cemetery walkthrough. Uh, thanks for hanging out with me. Like I said, I'll probably come back and view this one again. It's so big. Uh, it's a long time to like get here. It's like 30 minutes travel just to get here. But so I was telling Z, there's a really good restaurant nearby. It's one of my favorites. <laughs> so it's kind of worth the trip. But um, thanks for hanging out with me. Z, thanks for hanging out. Oh <laughs> All right, and uh, I'll see y'all next time.